Hey guys, what up? It's your boy Khan, TDK, Mr. So Real. And today's good or garbage is quite lengthy, so I'm going to put a little annotation on screen now. And this is going to tell you uh, some of the shortcuts. The first uh, set of vendors that you're going to see will be the ones that are in the open world. If you want to know what the base vendors are selling, that'll be 10 minutes, 33 seconds in. Blueprints, if you want to just know what's going on in the blueprints, that's 20 minutes, 21 seconds in. And if you want to know just what's going on in the DZ, that's 22 minutes and 19 seconds in. So this is quite lengthy, so we might as well let just get started. And let's get going on this week's Good or Garbage. All right, let's take a look at Wolves Den. So in the Wolves Den, they have an MP5 ST. Uh, it's got 38% critical hit damage, competent, determined, and ferocious. We've got a high velocity magazine with critical hit chance of 7.5, 9.5 magazine size, 4.9 rate of fire. Okay, let's take a look at Autumn's Hope. All right, the Autumn's Hope gear vendor has the Tactical Vest with Rapid as a talent, 4% kill uh, health on kill, 9.5% exotic damage resilience, and 27% increased kill XP. The major attribute is Firearms at 955. The prototype performance mod is Support Station Duration, 6%. Okay, let's take a look at Dante's Run. Now in Dante's Run, we have a Spec Ops pack. The major attribute is Firearms at 945. We have Technical, increased skill power by 15% while Signature skill is active. 7% skill haste, 55% ammo capacity, and 57 uh, slots for your backpack. Not too bad. Uh, the performance mod here is the First Aid Ally Heal at 5.5%. Alright, let's take a look at Kerman Station. In Kerman Station, we have a classic M1A. It has 153% headshot damage. It comes with Fierce, Vicious, and Balanced. Kinda garbage. Uh, we have the laser, I guess this is an underbarrel, green laser, whatever. This is 14.5% uh, accuracy, 2.5 stability, and 4% critical hit damage. Yeah. All right. And at the cavern. At the cavern, we have a tactical vest. Major attribute is firearms. Comes with rapid. Has 1,098 uh, Armor, 4,796 health, and 27% increased kill XP. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, we have the prototype performance mod, which is 7% support station duration. Yeah. The Meat Locker. All right, looking at the Meat Locker, we have an enhanced ACRE. Comes with 23% enemy armor damage, sustained, competent, and capable. Kind of an average all-around weapon. We have a small grip, which gives you 16% critical hit damage, 4.5 reload speed, and 4% optimal range. Madison's Stand. Alright, so if we look at Madison's Stand, we have an Operator's Vest. The major attribute is uh, stamina and toughness. We have Rapid, which gives you 15% uh, cooldown on healing, 7% protection from elites, 5,208 on health, 23% kill XP. This is straight garbage. Don't recommend that. Uh, the prototype firearm mod gives you 192 on your firearms, and it gives you 2.5% exotic damage resilience. Could be useful. Depends on what situations you're in usually, but not too bad. The last call. All right, in the last call, we have a custom M44 with 168% headshot damage. That is nice. Uh, we have Dominant, Unforgiving, and Provident. Dom uh, Unforgiving is pretty much the only one I would 
probably want to run. The rest of this is kind of garbage. Uh, we have a suppressor. This suppressor has 7.5% critical hit chance, 5.5 headshot damage, 4% critical hit damage, and 47% reduced threat. This is pretty good. I would recommend this. This is actually not too bad. I like having reduced threat, especially on my snipers. It makes it a lot more fun to uh, pick people off and kind of keep it moving. Plus that headshot damage, critical hit, and critical hit chance. This is all good. This is very good. Check this out, guys. Uh, if you're in the market for a suppressor that reduces threat, this is pretty decent. The Ward. All right, in the ward, we have a backpack spec ops. The primary attribute is uh, firearms. It has inventive, increased skill power, 15% when you're at full health, 12% signature, ability resource gain, and disrupt resistance, 55 slots in the backpack. Kind of meh. I don't, I don't think it's that great for that price. Um, the prototype electronics mod, Gives you 189 on electronics and exotic damage resilience. This is probably a pass uh, since the electronics mods aren't as good as they used to be. But, you know, if you needed to get that little bump, you may want to, but uh, not on my list. Southpaw. All right, taking a look at Southpaw, we have a holster. Uh, pretty even. Uh, we have steadfast. Health regeneration kicks in twice as fast. And 4% protection from elites. Eh, kind of garbage. Uh, we have an electronics mod with 259 on armor. If you need some armor to help you get you past that cap, looks like my character could use something like this. Uh, that's not too bad. Plus, you get a nice little piece of uh, skill power. So, you may want to think about that. Uh, is it worth it for you? Eh, kind of depends on what you need. The Grind House. All right, now in the grind house, we have a tactical SA-58 with 20% enemy armor damage. It comes with swift, adept, and self-preserved. Not really the highest on my list. Kind of garbage. We have a grip with accuracy 15.5, stability 2.5, reload speed 4.5. This is garbage. The firewall. All right, now looking at the firewall, we have some tactical knee pads. The primary is stamina at 997. Prosperous headshot kills give you credits. Uh, you have 8% critical hit damage, 30 to disrupt, 29 to bleed, 33 burn resistance. Eh, Prosperous always seems nice when you need that money, but yeah, it's kind of not the best. Uh, here we have a prototype electronics mod. This one gives you 213, the highest so far we've seen on uh, this week. And you get 2.5 exotic damage resilience. Uh, not a fan of that, but you know, if it helps keep you alive, you may want to go for it. The Crypt. All right, now in the Crypt, we have a pistol. <laughs> we got the M45A1. Comes with meticulous garbage, you already know. The hand stop gray wolf grip has 29.5% uh, reload speed, 4.5 optimal range, 2% accuracy. Um, this fits on larger weapons. I kind of forgot to mention that. You may want to take a look at those, but this fits on larger weapons, so this won't fit on like a pistol or anything. Uh, but yeah, this is probably not the best, but maybe. It could be useful for um, larger caliber uh, sniper rifles just because the reload speed is good. But actually, I would rather have some headshot damage instead of uh, accuracy or optimal range, uh, especially accuracy probably. I'd switch that out for a good chunk of headshot damage. But yeah, I'd probably pass on this. I'd say that's garbage. Camp Hudson. All right, now at Camp Hudson, you can get a classic M44 carbine. It comes with 143% headshot damage. It got skilled, prepared, and determined. Um, determined is not bad to have on a sniper rifle um, if you can get the kills, but you know, having something that gives headshot cooldowns are better. Prepared is decent, but yeah, you'd actually rather have um, skilled in that last tree so this is kind of garbage 
but this high velocity magazine could be very good uh, for certain types of weapons. You get critical hit chance 6%, critical hit damage at 4%, and reload speed at 4%. Um, if you use a bolt action, this might be decent. Uh, if you're running a crit build or if you're running with a shotgun, this might be all right for you. If you're running one uh, is none and you know you need to reload occasionally. It's not bad having a good uh, faster reload plus that critical hit chance and damage will make you a bit more deadly. All right, now at the first vendor, as soon as you come into the base, we have a weapons vendor. He has a custom L86A2. Uh, this has 16% damage to enemies out of cover. Comes with adept, fierce, and accurate. I would pass on that and say garbage. You got a 552 hollow sight, which has 7% critical hit chance, 4% optimal range, and 4% critical hit damage. Uh, if you're running... Depends on what you're running. This is for larger optics, so smaller weapons, this may not work. Um, it's saying that it's good for sniper rifles and certain ARs. Uh, for an AR, it could be okay. Uh, increasing that range and getting critical hit chance and damage is not bad. Uh, depends on your build and what you're looking Go for. The vendor. Now for the backpack vendor, we have Relentless 5% on this backpack. Uh, the primary attribute is firearms. You get 8% critical hit damage and 14% bleed resistance. This could be good if you're facing up against people in the dark zone running uh, Predator's Mark. Uh, here we have a performance prototype, prototype performance mod. This is 7% mobile cover health. That's straight garbage. At the advanced weaponry vendor, we have a bunch of stuff. Uh, the pecan and all of that stuff is still here. Uh, you have a pistol have more pistols you have a pp19 with competent and ferocious depends on if you're looking for that we have that lvo ac 20 percent enemy armor damage this time with prepared meticulous and competent not as good as when the update first started you got a tactical super 90 with fierce predatory and ferocious depends could be all right if you're doing that pve stuff um classic m44 carbine 153 headshot damage capable adept and intense garbage military m60 e4 18 percent out of cover damage meticulous capable and brutal brutal is the only thing that looks pretty uh meticulous is good on uh light machine guns and capable could be good so actually i won't say garbage on this i'll say it's pretty good the only thing is i'd like uh more damage out of cover but they've reworked that so eh, it could be all right Depends on if you like LMGs. Now we have a quick release magazine. 27% uh, faster reload, 4% critical hit damage, and 9.4 magazine size. Really sad that they nerf magazine size with these uh, weapons. The old mags were a whole lot better. I don't know what they did with those things. Um, the suppressor, we have... 7% critical hit chance, 2.5 stability, 5.5 headshot damage, 44 reduced threat. Not too bad. Uh, I like having reduced threat on some of the th uh, weapons that I use. This is for your smaller weapons. Keep that in mind. This won't work on a sniper. This is for smaller weapons. Uh, that's something to think about. You have your small barrel undergrip. So this is for smaller weapons as well. 17% critical hit chance, 2.5 stability, 4.5 reload speed. This could be good on an AR is what it looks like or uh, some of the smaller uh, SMGs. You have an 8x scope. 8x scopes I never really recommend, but hey, you never know. 12.5 stability, 2% accuracy, 4% critical hit damage. Yeah, I'm going to say garbage on that one. You probably don't need it. All right, now let's go down into the underground and see what these vendors have got this week. All right, now looking at the special equipment vendor downstairs, we have the Liberator. Uh, of course, it comes with the same perks as it always does. Competent, dominant, and talented. We have a Valkyria that should come with the same talents with determined, competent, and responsive. Historian, 164 this week, prepared, intense, and harmful. Uh, this first wave pistol comes with provident, garbage, tactical, Vector 45, 30% critical hit damage, comes with brutal, fierce, adept, go for it. 
this is good. Uh, I, I'm going to say this is good. Go for that. That's pretty nice. If you can get these requirements to hit, then you're good to go. And if you can't, you might want to drop it down uh, one world tier, and it, it might be all right for you. Military SA-58, uh, 25 22 Enemy armor damage, dominant, self-preserved, meticulous, eh, garbage. Double barrel shotgun, 304 on that stagger, commanding, fierce, meticulous, garbage. Police MK-17, still not as good as we need it to be. 160 headshot damage is nice, prepared, brutal, and dominant. Unfortunately, this archetype just isn't where it needs to be. It needs to hit a bit harder. Brutal is nice, prepared is eh, kind of meh, uh, but yeah, garbage. This military M60 E4 lightweight comes with lightweight machine gun, 17% damage, adept, brutal, capable, uh, adept, not bad. If you can get the requirement for it, this is kind of all right. If you like LMGs, this is good. Uh, this mask is garbage, tech authority. If you need something with uh, electronics, if you're running electronics build, this gives you health on kill for those roly balls of death that I know are plaguing people. Uh, final measure, don't really recommend this. That's kind of booty. Uh, this operator's vest with rapid has a nice piece of armor, but the primary attribute is electronics. Kind of meh. Striker's harness, this has uh, primary is stamina. You get a nice piece of armor, 1,050. Some good kill XP and protection from elites. Pretty good for if you're running a lot of PvE stuff. Uh, Centuries Call, the primary is firearms. The only problem is this firearms is rated pretty low. That's garbage. Reclaimer Vest, uh, you get 981 on the health. Health on kill, good chunk of armor, plus increased XP. That's decent. Uh, looking at the strikers comparatively, uh, it's pretty good. Get a little bit more health and you get more armor. Here we have the Alpha Bridge Backpack, critical hit damage, plus some electronics, garbage. Uh, the rest of this stuff, not too impressed by these knee pads that a Nomad have a good chunk of armor, but the minor attributes of bleed and all that other resilience. But it does have 11% uh, enemy armor damage, so you may want to think about that. Hunter's Faith knee pads, damage to elites, increased kill XP, garbage. Firecrest knee pads, uh, looking at this. 8% critical hit damage plus the major attribute is toughness or stamina, uh, but still nothing amazing in the minors. The Predator's Mark, Pistol, Garbage, Banshee, Skill Haste, depends. If you're running a skill build, this may work out for you. Tack Gloves with Cunning, comes with Marksman Rifle Damage, Critical Hit Damage, and Health on Kill. Uh, this could be good. I... You know, I if it didn't if it had maybe uh, firearms, it might be worth re-rolling re because cunning after reloading the next shot with the weapon has 10% higher critical hit chance. Plus, you get 15% critical hit damage, and that marksman damage is uh, pretty juicy, and you get some health on kill. Not too bad. Lone Star shotgun damage, health on kill, damage to elite. Uh, if you're running Lone Star set, this could be all right. Some dead eye gloves. Critical hit damage, health on kill, assault rifle damage. This is pretty good. The only problem is the firearms uh, bonus is a bit low. You may want to see if you can re-roll that. But if you're running uh, Deadeye, um, could be okay if you're running uh, an assault rifle in your secondary. Uh, let's see. The other stuff, not a huge fan of this. But 1% critical hit chance is a joke. Somebody should be shot for putting this up here. One percent is straight nothing. Um, slap whoever's mama that is that, that, that put in charge of that because that's straight stupid. Seven percent support station duration. Eh, no. The high velocity magazine. You've got critical hit chance at six point five. Magazine size of ten. Rate of fire four point nine. Um, I'm really sad about how they pretty much dicked over the magazine size. I'm gonna say no on this one. This large suppressor. 17 critical hit damage, 4.5 optimal range, 2% accuracy, reduced threat. Now, angle grip, you've been asking for it. You finally got it. That angle grip is available. Too bad all of the major attributes are straight. Garbage. You got 11.5 stability, 5 uh, on optimal range, and 2 on accuracy. 
that stability may come in handy. That's not a, a bad roll on some stability, but optimal range of accuracy. Come on, get some headshot damage in there or some critical hit or something. Something. Uh, now this head, this this little site here. Here we go. We got some headshot damage, 5.5 critical hit chance, 2.5, and critical hit damage at four. Uh, critical hit chance, 2.5. This ain't bad. This ain't too bad. Uh, it'll work out pretty well. Um, and that is it for this. Let's go on over to the special blueprints vendor. See what blueprints they got. This is where we we really want to know. All right, so we got this military L86 uh, light machine gun uh, that is for sale. We have a military SCAR H. This is the marksman rifle, not the assault rifle. We have stamina knee pads, firearms, vest, quick release magazine, blueprint, uh, a pistol, suppressor. No, this actually isn't a pistol. This is a suppressor for small weapons, but it does fit on pistols. Uh, the firearms gear mod. The stamina gear mod, uh, the MP5 ST. Unfortunately, this is a 204, not uh, the 229 variant. So, if you're looking for that stuff, uh, this week's blueprints, I don't really recommend any of this stuff uh, just because, well, maybe the suppressor if you need it, but it's really just for reduced threat. That's about it. I, nothing special here. All right, so let's go down into the underground and see what they got. All right, now for the underground vendor, we have a G36 with 19% enemy armor damage. Comes with determined, responsive, and focus. Garbage. This X45 pistol, you already know that's garbage. The military G36 with sustained, commanding, and focus. Garbage. And this G36 enhanced uh, with meticulous and dominant. This is garbage. It's really strange that this blueprint, these these weapons are not the same as world tier four they all should be uh if it made any sense but obviously this don't make no sense all right so let's check out um what's going on in the dark zone see what's going on i don't i don't think they'll have anything any super special but let's take a look and see what they've got going on in the dz this week all right in dz2 there isn't too much to see here but there's one thing that kind of stands out for me and that's the operator's gloves now, you might be saying, Khan, why does this stand out for you, man? It's got headshot with sidearm, and it's got pistol damage. Uh, but the thing is, it also has assault rifle, and it has critical hit damage. Now, if you're running the shield, uh, since the shield is kind of based off of electronics, the major attribute here is electronics. And if you're running a shield, and you got a decent pistol, something with some nice perks on it, this could work out for you. If you're not into that build, then yeah, definitely, there's really much, there's really nothing going on in here. Uh, but that is my recommendation for DZ2 if you're running the shield. Let's go to DZ3 and see what they got. In DZ3, particularly, there's nothing that stands out to me. Um, yeah, the only thing that's all right, maybe, would be this Black Market SASG-12. Uh, it's got 270% stagger. Fierce, unfortunately, is in the first spot, um, and that's really always a tough kind of talent to get to proc just because it pulls you in one of uh, either direction, firearms or electronics. Uh, but if you have dominant, dominant is not too bad, helps get you uh, your skill, your super back, and it has unforgiving, which could be okay. Again, this isn't the best, and but unfortunately, it's the best that they have this week in DZ3. All right, so let's move on to DZ4 and see what weapons they have. Well, not weapons, but what they have on sale in there. In DZ4, we have a Prototypes Firearm mod that has 204 for firearms and 248 on armor. This isn't bad, actually. Uh, you get a nice little piece of firearms and you get some armor. You may want to think about picking that up if you're in the market for buying one instead of crafting. Uh, and then we have the prototype performance mod, which is 5% sticky bomb explosion radius. I don't know how many people are still running sticky bombs, uh, but there you go. Uh, if you need something for your sticky, there you go. You can uh, in, uh, get that blast radius up even higher and blow up some more people. All right, let's go on to DZ5 and see what's going on with the attachments this week. All right, well, in DZ5, I'll be damned. All this stuff is good. <laughs> I can't even believe I'm saying that. All of this stuff is good. The heavy magazine spring. We got critical hit damage, critical hit chance, rate of fire. If you run into bolt action, this could be something you may want to look at. Pretty decent. 
Uh, the compensator, we've got stability, 13% optimal range, uh, 4.5 and 4% critical hit damage. If you're running an AR, this could be something good for you. The angle grip. Uh, we talked about the angle grip, but here we go. Angle grip, we got 12% stability, 4.5 on the reload speed, and 4% critical hit damage. Now, if you're running something like maybe an LMG, or if you're running maybe something like your AR, this could work for you. And we've got the scope, 15 times scope. It's the only thing I run on my uh, sniper rifles. You got 5.5 headshot damage, 4% critical hit damage, and 2% on accuracy. Not too shabby. Surprise, surprise, DZ5 has got that fire. All right, now let's move on to DZ6 and finish this long, long good or garbage out and be done with it for this week. All right, now for DZ6, really and truly, there's nothing that I see that is uh, standout-ish, nothing amazing. Uh, maybe if you need something like this uh, Firecrest, you can get health on kill, health, increased kill XP, and the major attribute is stamina. Uh, but the rest of this stuff is kind of poo-poo. Uh, I wanted these dead eye gloves to be worth something, but they've got two strikes. They actually got three strikes against them. Uh, They've got an assault rifle damage on, you know, dead eye. It should be marksman and pistol damage, which is, you know, just pistol damage. And, you know, the firearms, you always want that to be as high as possible, you know. But, yeah, there's really nothing going on in DZ6. Uh, you can take a look, slow this video down, see if there's anything you like. But uh, there's really nothing that I recommend for this week in DZ6. So that is it. That is all for good or garbage this week. I hope that this helped you guys out a lot. Stopped you from having to run around. It took forever to make this video. Sweet Jeebus. Took way too long to do this. Uh, let me guys, let me know you guys in the comment section. Do you want to see like what's going on with all of these vendors in the PvE world? Uh, is that something that you need to know? I know that there's weapons and there are mods and attachments that could be little, you know, kind of secret gems that are better than what you have and maybe a nice little upgrade or it could be something specific that you're looking for. So I don't want to kind of generalize too many things uh, because something may be really good for your build. So I really and truly, I don't want to generalize if I don't have to. Uh, but let me know in the comment section, do you guys really want to see all of those things? Or, and if so, uh, do you want me to focus on either the weapons or the gear or the attachments or the mods or what? What is it that you guys really want to see in the Good or Garbage series going forward? Because there's so much material. I know that people don't want to sit around and watch these really long videos about this. But it is what it is. They spread all this stuff out. I'm trying to help you guys out as best I can. Uh, so again, let me know in the comment section what you'd like to see going forward with this because there's just so much information. Uh, I hope that this helped. Uh, let me know uh, what you guys think. And remember, if you have not tried to get in on the Titanfall 2 giveaway that I'm doing this weekend, it's pretty much going to be today, tomorrow, and the day after are going to be the last couple of days to get in on this. It's a free copy. All you got to do is make a Japanese PSN uh, account. It's not very hard. If you guys need to really know how to do that, I can try my best to make a video about that. But uh, I'll have to figure something out on how to do that. But yeah, uh, it's a free giveaway. Hope you guys liked it. Thank you guys for joining all of the streams that I've been doing lately. Uh, you guys have been a lot of fun. Uh, and that's pretty much about it. If you're new, remember to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I am Khan TDK, Mr. So Real. For good or garbage this week, I'm gone. Peace. Guys, oh, and one more thing. Uh, I forgot to actually do the Dark Zone checkpoint vendors. I apologize for that, but we're already at about 30 minutes for this. Uh, so if you really, really, really need me to make a video about that, I will just leave a comment in the comment section and I'll get on that uh, as soon as possible. But yeah, sorry about that. I, I completely forgot about that. I totally forgot about that. I'm really sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, leave a comment in the comment section if you really need me to make a video about that. Otherwise, uh, let me know what you think about this format. I know this is really long, so give me some ideas about how you'd like to see me cut this down because 30 minutes just for this is way long. Uh, I apologize for that. But until the next Good or Garbage, I'm Khan. Sorry about that again. Um, I'm gone.